Like this? Yeah. So we can just stop sharing. And then your name. My name is Bezwara Wilson. I'm a national convener, Safai Karmachari Andolan, India. Um, could you please tell us about your organization? This is the community-based organization. It is a movement. It is not registered. We are working in 18 states in India to liberate our own people and for the uh, facilitate the rehabilitation for the, our own people. And when did this start and how did it start? It is 1982 when I have seen my own people and their pathetic situations. I have started just working. I can't say that how it is uh, launched or anything, but it started just like that with the, among the volunteers and the young, uh, youngsters of the community. And we started organizing our own people. And it has taken 10 years for us to come to the one stage where the, our own people can understand what we are saying and our message. So what have been your achievements so far? This is the, when we have started in the beginning, even our own community people, they never came to us and they never realized that what it is happening like. If, for example, the scavenger is to go and carry the human excreta by hands and put it into the basket and carry that basket into the dumping gas, but never felt that it is such an inhuman life. Because centuries together and generations to generations, we are all have been in, uh, involved in this profession. So we have lost actually what we are doing like even to think. In that circumstances, we went and we started bringing our own people to one platform and asking them to uh, actually to think about the situation. Why the human beings can, uh, should clean the other shit. So we made a statement like, no human being should clean other shit at any cost like. Then people started understanding that and majority people, they have come out and they said uh, our government and the civil society and the toilet users are not allowing us to leave this job. In such circumstances, we again went to the Indian government and the policy makers. And in 1993, the government of India they made, uh, the, they abolished this practice of the manual scavenging in India. Okay. Um, so, could you tell us the number of people who have been liberated and rehabilitated since your establishment? See, approximately now there in India, when we started, it was uh, 20 lakh people were engaged, which means that 2 million people were being there in this obnoxious practice. Later, the, it has come down due to the government's so many schemes, programs, and particularly about our own organization, a uh, uh, reluctant, less uh, kind of a continuous uh, a struggle. And the people, they just left, even without getting any rehabilitation packages. Uh, they themselves, they left. Now it has come to the 13 lakh. And our estimation, what we have done the survey, according to that, 1 lakh people, they left the job. So which people are, or which gender is more affected by this practice? See, uh, this practice is because of caste-based occupation. It is a caste-based, uh, most uh, uh, scavengers in India, almost all from the Dalit community, the so-called untouchables. So the caste uh, people, they made these people to clean the shit since very long. And it is there in the Vedas and all. If you could just give us the percentage of um, those who are into the business, like the women, you talked about the women. Yeah. The, 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 the about 80%. Yes. See, the, all the scavengers, all are from the Dalits. Dalits only will do the scavenging. And among them, 80% of the women only is doing that. So what we feel is very clearly, it is the uh, conspiracy by the caste and the patriarchy jointly declared the war against the humanity and we are here to come out of that kind of a pathetic situation. Okay. So is there anything um, that you would want to tell your fellow Indians? Fellow? Your fellow Indians, even as you strive to liberate more scavengers. Yes. I am just giving the open call to all the global citizens and particularly to the Indian citizens because it is a kind of a very inhuman and very obnoxious system. It should not continue in any the human society. And if it is their own citizens 
cleaning, making them to clean the other shit. It is a social crime and it is also punishable by 1993 Act of Indian government. And I request the people, they have to convince the toilet users to convert their own toilets. Uh, that is other organizations. And what we are doing is uh, we are motivating, uh, we are giving the awareness and sensitization to our own people to leave this obnoxious practice and come out and liberate and live with the dignity and self-respect. Okay, so if they leave this work, what other work would they be doing? See, Indian government has the uh, packages called 800 crores for the rehabilitation. Well, the only thing is the corruption, we have to cut it short, we have to cut down and we have to uh, be strict with the corruption and the people for them. There are so many avocations, whatever they like. And there the many NGOs and the civil society organizations, they have to come forward to give them the skills training and thereby they can avail the exact the livelihood which they can give them a good, proper, dignity, livelihood. Okay, so what is your target, finally? What See, is your what target? we are feeling is that India is such a developing country and we have a great uh, potential. So what we feel is it is a very simple. It is it no, not required so much of time. We have uh, kept a target to 2010, December 31st, which is called Action 2010. So what we feel is by 2010, December 31st, no human hand should touch the human excreta. Is there anything more you would want to add? To? I think I finished almost. And and and, and there is a one more thing what I want to say is, uh, see in India now, the 2010, they are organizing the Commonwealth Games. India is hosting the Commonwealth Games in October. So we have given the global call to all the participants in the Commonwealth Games. So to see that if there is a manual scavenging and there is no point coming all here and playing the games. Yeah. When there was the apartheid in South Africa, the whole world community boycotted the South Africa cricket team. When there is such an inhuman thing, making human beings to clean other shit, if it is continuing, there is no point to the Commonwealth countries and the teams and coming and playing with the spirit of the dignity, the Commonwealth logo and self-respect and which is against that their own uh, aims. Yeah. So I request them to uh, put the pressure on the Indian government to relocate if there is a manual scavenging till 2010 October. Okay, that brings me to this question. So how many people are still doing the scavenging? There are 12 lakh people, means 1.2 million people still they carry human excreta by hands. It is a huge in number. Is that in India only? See, we know that we have evidences and we have the photographs about the Bangladesh and Nepal so far with us. And we just initiated. But so far, we have not worked anything there. We just went and we got the data. How many are there in India? India 1.2 million still. And uh, what has uh, this meant for you personally? Men? What uh, has this meant? What change uh, has become uh, out of your uh, Me, change? personally? Yeah, personally. See, I am also from the community and even if I am not from the community, if I could have known this kind of the thing is uh, happening anywhere in this world, I could have not tolerated. Because I have seen when the scavengers, they go when they clean the shit, I cannot bear that in this society. And how come that you became engaged in this? See, I was a son of the scavengers. My parents also did the same. When I just got the education and I started going to the employment exchange to enroll my name for the register for the job, even in, for me they have offered the same job. Then I realized in this country where I live, which I love so much, the country which has uh, so much of discrimination about on their on their own citizens. So I felt we should not be in anywhere in this country or anywhere in this global. The people should be, we are all human beings, irrespective of our own uh, uh, citizenship or any religion, culture or anything. So it is against the humanity. So it is an utter violation of the human rights. How many organizations work uh to abolish uh, scavenging? The unfortunate situation is there are many organizations uh, are feeling that they are engaged in liberation. 
but it is the local sanitation promotion or it is a kind of a NGO just running something. They are not actually coming and uh, 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 dis dismantling the crust of the problem. They are just around the problem. And what is the crust of the problem? The problem is the caste and the patriarchy. Those two things we have to address very well. If you don't address the caste and the patriarchy, then there is no salvation for this. Um, but would you say that the Indian government is committed or is showing commitments towards... Um, Indian, Indian government said first to uh, 1995 they want to eradicate this. And they extended the deadline to 98, then 2000, then 2003. We have filed in the uh, public interest litigation in the Supreme Court. The Chief Justice of India is uh, hearing in this case and he issued notice to everybody. They are the shameless the officers, they have came and they filed the affidavit saying that there is no manual scavenging in their state, though it is so much prevalence everywhere. Then we have started giving the such a documents with the photographic evidences. Now the chief justice also taken it as so serious and it is going. Now they are saying that 2005, then later they said the 2008, 9, 10, so, which is just going without any kind of a proper a time bound action plan. Why when it comes to so? when it comes to the development, when they want to do the racket technology or something, they are fulfilling the deadlines on time. When it comes to the metro line or the flyovers, and they are on the time. When it comes to the Commonwealth Games, I don't think they are going to request the world community to postpone the Commonwealth Games. When it comes to the, the poor, the Dalits, the women, scavengers, it is continuously it is going to be a postponement. This is a very unfortunate and shame. That is the reason we said, whatever reason, after 2010, December 31st, we will not allow human scavenging in this country. Thank you. Uh, how is the situation in Tamil Nadu? Do you know? Now it has come down in Tamil Nadu yeah. because uh, we did and the government of Tamil Nadu also has come forward and together we made uh, a kind of a comprehensive thing and most of the places like Nagapatnam, all other places, Madurai, Nagapatnam, uh, Thirur and uh, Tanjavur, all other places, Tirchirapalli, now the sc human scavenging has come down. It has come to the zero almost and there are only the manhole workers and the underground drainage system scavenging is there.